Hi there. In today's math assignment, we're going to be investigating numbers that are less than zero and how we calculate with them. Mmm. All finished. Nothing left. Zero. Three, two, one, zero. We all know about zero, but now it's time to investigate what lies beyond zero. Hold on. We're going into the negative zone. So where do we come across negative numbers? Numbers that are less than zero. Not here, that's for sure. According to this thermometer, the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. But what about in here? Look at the temperature in the freezer. It's way below zero. In fact, it's minus five degrees Celsius. Five degrees below zero. That's a negative number. Mmm, chocolate. Not bad. Here's another place where we can find negative numbers. When I'm floating on the water, I'm at the zero level. Now I'm climbing up above the water level. Okay, I'm three meters above water level. I can say my height is positive three meters. Hey, that was cool. Let's watch that again. Whoa! Here I am at the bottom of that awesome jump. According to this number line, I'm two meters below water level. That's negative two meters. Hey, I'm in the negative zone. Shopping. Now there's an easy way to enter the negative zone. Take my stepsister. She likes to shop, and how. Last month, she bought $500 worth of stuff on her credit card. That means she owes the bank $500, and she'll have to pay interest, too. She's definitely in the negative zone. So long, credit card. Looking at what we've learned so far, five degrees below zero Celsius, two meters underwater, five hundred dollars in debt. In math, we call these negative numbers. And numbers that are above zero, we call positive numbers. And this is how we write a negative number, like five degrees below zero, or when I owe my friend five dollars. We write the negative sign a bit higher than a subtraction symbol to show it belongs to the number. When we're talking about numbers above zero, positive numbers, we put a positive sign next to it, like this. Positive eight. Whole numbers that are positive or negative are called integers. Okay, now it's time to look at how we add integers. I'm drilling some holes to represent negative numbers. Let's assume that the top surface of this wood block equals zero. I've drilled one hole, that's negative one. Now here's another one, negative two. I've made three holes. So that's negative three. Look at this calculation. Negative three, add negative two. That's just adding two more holes. Which makes five holes altogether. 
negative 5. Negative 3 add negative 2 equals negative 5. Cool. Time to introduce some positive integers. These represent positive integers. They're the opposite of holes. Okay, next calculation. Five holes and four wood pegs. Here's how we write the sum. Negative five add positive four. Look at this. The wood peg fits into the hole, leaving... Leaving what? Nothing. No hole. No wood peg. Zero. Negative one add positive one equals zero. Excellent! But I haven't finished the sum yet. Let's see. Now I've added the wood pegs and the holes. I'm left with one hole. So negative five add positive four equals negative one. Cool! Here's another calculation. This time I'll start with positive six and I'll add negative two. Positive six add negative two is what will happen when we put the wood pegs and holes together. Can you work it out? Two of the wood pegs fit into the two holes, leaving four wood pegs. So the answer is positive four. One more. Here's the sum. Can you do it? I can put this wood peg in here, and that leaves two holes. So positive one add negative three is negative two. Okay, now it's your turn to try some integer additions. Here are the answers. How'd you do? Congratulations if you got them all right. You know, adding positive and negative integers reminds me of something I read about in science, about antimatter. Antimatter is negative matter. Its mass is negative. When it meets ordinary matter, with positive mass, they annihilate each other in a huge explosion. There is zero mass left. Ah! Just kidding. Now it's time to do some subtraction. I'm talking about subtraction. It's the opposite of addition. Addition? Subtraction. I've drilled ten holes in this piece of wood, and I'll fill all the holes with wood pegs. So it's the same as a piece of wood with no holes and no wooden pegs. Zero. Now, for the first calculation. Negative three, subtract negative two. Okay, start with negative three. That's three holes. How am I going to subtract negative two? I have to subtract two holes. Easy. Let's subtract two of the holes by filling them with pegs. Great. So now I'm left with one hole. Negative one. So negative three subtract negative two equals negative one. That's interesting. Subtracting negative two is the same as adding positive two. Next calculation. Negative five, subtract positive four. I'll empty five of the holes to represent negative five. And I'll subtract four wood pegs to represent subtracting positive four. That leaves nine holes. Negative five, subtract positive four, equals negative nine. Cool, we're rolling. Okay, last one. Positive two, subtract negative three. 
Subtract negative three means to subtract three holes by filling them with three pegs. But there aren't any holes to fill, so I can only add those three pegs to the other two. Positive two subtract negative three equals positive five. Now, you try these. Here are the answers. All four right? Excellent. Another way to work out additions and subtractions is on a number line. Here's a short section of the number line from 0 to positive 5. As you can see, I've left off the positive signs from the numbers to keep things simple. For example, for positive 3 add positive 1, I start at positive 3 on the line. I'm going to add, so I face right. That's the direction in which the numbers get bigger. Now positive 1 means walk forwards one. Answer, positive four. Let's try positive five, add negative three. I start at positive five. I face right for the add direction. Now, here's the tricky bit. Negative three means walk backwards three. And the answer is, Positive two. Okay, let's try a subtraction. How about positive one subtract negative two? Start at positive one. This time I'm subtracting, so I face this way. The numbers get smaller in this direction. And remember, negative two means walk backwards too. Answer, positive three. Another subtraction. How about positive two subtract positive five? Start at positive two and turn to the left to subtract. Then positive five means walk forward five. One, Two, uh-oh, it's time to go into the negative zone. Three, four, five. Answer, negative three. That's better. Now you can see my whole number line from negative five to positive five. Let's do a few more calculations using this line. First up is negative two add positive six. Remember, when I add, I face to the right, and positive six means walk forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Answer, positive four. One more. Let's go totally negative. Negative three, subtract negative five. Subtract means face left. Then negative five means walk backwards five. One, two, three, four, five. Answer, positive two. Okay, time for you to try out your number line skills while I relax. Remember to point to the right for addition and to the left to subtract. Then look at the sign of the number. If it's positive, go forwards. If it's negative, go backwards.
Here are the answers. How did you do? Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned about adding and subtracting negative integers. Here's a calculation you've just done. Now, if this was positive 3, the calculation would be simply positive 5, add 3. Positive 8. Okay, so when I add negative 3, it's like subtracting 3 away from positive 5. Positive 2. So, I can make these integer additions and subtractions look simpler. Let's try another one. Subtracting a positive integer, that's just subtraction. Uh, negative 4, take another one, must be negative 5. And finally, subtracting a negative integer. We saw earlier that subtracting a negative integer gives the same result as adding a positive one. Negative 2, add 3, is positive 1. Fantastic! So when you have two signs next to each other in an addition or subtraction, you can simplify them like this.